Celebrities like Julia Roberts, Jada Pinkett Smith, J Lo, Jennifer Aniston, they all look younger than their real age. How do they do it? Well, beauty expert and author Alicia Curry is joining us to tell us how we can get a more youthful appearance. In fact, her new book is called Age Younger. 21 tips to make your 40s look like your 20s. And when I saw her in the parking lot this morning, I was like, girl, <laughs> give me those tips. I can't wait. I would love to make my 40s look like my 20s. So so where, where do we start? What's the biggest mistake that you see women in their 40s making? Well, one of the biggest mistakes women typically make is they're not using the right color corrector. Because as we age, our skin sometimes gets sallow mm -hmm. and, and we lose that, that vibrancy in our skin. And even the under the eye area, I have my beautiful model Sally yes, here. Yes, looks gorgeous. Yes, so under the eye area, sometimes we get dark circles and we, we pack on concealer. Yep. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that you, you can make. Instead, you need to color correct that area. Color correct it, okay, how do color we do that? Correcting. So if you have any darkness or brown or purple, then you need something with a little peach, a little pinky kind of base. So this is a, this is a peach based um, color corrector. And you just need to dab a little bit of color under there oh. and it corrects that color. And then you can put your concealer on because you need to neutralize the darkness. So interesting. Yes. So, so yeah, cause I'm still just going straight for concealer. Right, so if you have darkness, sometimes you don't have that darkness under there. But if you have dark circles, you need to color correct that first. Okay. Okay, and then you put your concealer underneath. Sometimes if your skin looks kind of dull, you mm -hmm. use a purple-based um, primer, and that helps bring life back into your skin. And if you, if you find you have redness, some people get rosacea as they age. Or brown spots. Right. Here in so Florida. brown spots, yes. again, use something that's peach-based. If you have redness, you need something green or yellow to balance out that red. Okay, one of your other tips is, to, is, is a really simple one. So simple. Smile wider. Smile okay. wider, right. yes. Okay. So when you smile <laughs> wider, when you look at young kids, they have that yeah. twinkle in their eye and they smile yes. really wide. And so when you smile wider, there's actually a report on psychology and aging. It's the first of its kind that proves that there is a bias in age estimation based on facial expression. Okay, now I'm going to be smiling yes. really so wide. We're not. <laughs> the same people, pictures were taken of the same people who were smiling, nice, bright, white yes. smiles. And, and the same and people a big had, smile. yeah, they had no expression or they had an angry expression and their age was actually estimated a lot younger when they were smiling. Okay, another tip is that you need to have an effective skin care routine. Plumping the skin Plumping is really the, the way skin. to go. Yes, yeah, so there are products out on the market yes. that help you, um, they help, tighten the skin. Okay. Now this one product that I have here, we put it on Sally earlier, okay. and it helps not just plump the skin on this side. Yes. It helps plump the skin, but it also tightens, and it has a temporary effect, but if you use it over time, it helps rebuild that collagen. And what's it called? It's called 60 Second Facelift. 60 Second Facelift. You'll okay. find that on my website. So, okay, yes. very good. Okay, so so they'll have links to all these little tips on the website. And, and I think we have time for one more. Um, oh yeah, I know. Okay, so the rules change as we get older. It's yes. not just about you know the color correcting, but it's about those shimmery things and all that. Right. Too, right? So yes. So you want to illuminate. You want to use an illuminator. So real quickly, I'm going to use okay. it on the back of my hand. So when you're younger, instead of using bronzer or something, you use an illuminator. So it looks like you're actually glowing from the inside. From the inside yes. out. So Instead using of, something without color in it, but illuminates your skin helps. And one quick tip too, yes. a lot of people put blush, you know, they either yeah, do this yeah. yep. or, they, or they smile and put the yep. blush on. As you age, your skin gets a little lower. So you need to know where to put the blush. Because oh, if yeah. you put your finger here, and smile, uh -huh. and then when you when you stop smiling, it kind of drops. So this is where your blush ends up. So oh, don't yeah. smile and put your blush on. Understand that it needs to be the. Oh, you know what? That's a really good cheek. point. Guess what I do every day? Yeah. Smile, smile and put my and blush, put on. blush on. Okay, so you can find. Here's the thing: we only had a chance to go through a few of these. Um, you can watch the rest of the, or this interview once again by going to the morning show page of newsforjax.com. But Alicia has a whole bunch of other tips inside her book and also links to her products. And you can find a link to her website, which is aliciacorey.com, by going to the morning. Show page of newsportjacks.com.